Hey guys, and welcome back to another Unfiltered Gamer board game review for the game Hens by Little Rocket Games. It's a game that plays two to four players and takes about 20 to 30 minutes to play and is for ages eight and up. And in the game Hens, you're attempting to collect barnyard hens and you're going to be grouping them up into, I guess you would call them chicken coops, attempting to score points by collecting specific colors and specific numbers into a four by three or a three by four grid. At the end of the game, once your grid is filled with either face up or face down chickens, you're going to score points based on your largest group, based on where you selectively play place your hen meeple, and uh, where you collect hen medals. And there's a couple other ways to score, such as objective cards. And whoever has the most points is the winner of the game, Hens by Little Rocket Games. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look at the game and how to play, and then of course, our review, me and her, because she was my second player. Setting up the game Hens is actually rather quite simple. What you'll do is you will take a deck of cards and based on the number of players in the game, you will set aside two decks for a two player game, one deck for a three player game, and you'll use all the cards for a four player game. And uh, you're going to shuffle these cards up and then you are going to deal out four cards to each of the players. After you've dealt out four cards, give every single player a rooster token. Additionally, you will shuffle up the objective cards and deal one out and remove the rest for the game. These were only going to be used once per game and they're going to signify bonus points that you can get at the end of the game based on what their requirements are. And then you're pretty much set to go. It's pretty simple. Okay, so we both have our four cards. So they have the chicken coops on the back and the chickens on the other side. And I'm going to be attempting to create my 4x3 or 3x4 grid. On your turn, all you're going to do is set aside your rooster and uh, keep in mind your objectives, along with, of course, your scoring values at the end of the game, and you're going to draw two cards from the deck. After you draw two cards from the deck, you will play a card down, and then you're going to discard a card that you don't want into your discard pile. Each player has their own unique discard pile, and everybody's going to have their own grid and you can place your cards down anywhere you'd like, but once you've placed one down, you have to place adjacent cards. You can't place one in one area and one in a different area not connected with one of your already placed hens. After you've placed one and discarded one and have four cards remaining in your hand like you did at the start of the turn, then you're going to pass, and the next player is gonna get a chance to go, drawing cards from the deck, and then being able to play a chicken down or hen down, and then discarding one to their discard pile. After the first round of play, you are then going to have the opportunity to either A, draw from the deck, or to draw from opponent's discard piles. You're still going to draw two, and it can be in any combination, and you're going to be able to potentially use those cards. So I can draw this discarded card from my opponent's side, I can draw a card from the deck, I then place a card down, and then I'm going to go ahead and discard a card. And that will end my turn. Like I showed you before, when you place one down and you want to place another that is a different color, make sure that the numbers uh, go either in a descending or ascending order. So I have a five here and a four here. When you place them down connected, that works out just fine. Also remember that chickens are in sets and sets are based on color. So at the end of the game, if you have three sets of chickens, it's going to be blue, red, and yellow, or black, red, and yellow. It will be based on the color and based on them being connected in one way or another, meaning that they are adjacent to each other. And what's going to happen is the player is going to keep going back and forth, playing down their chickens, making a 3x4 or 4x4, until all players have basically created their grid. And it will look something like this. And once your whole grid is done, that is how you're going to be scoring your hens. However, let's say that you can't make a placement. Like for instance, in this case here, you would not be able to place a chicken down. So you're going to need to take a card from your hand when you're placing, and instead of placing face up, you have to place face down. And when you do that, you're going to lose points. You'll lose one point for each adjacent chicken at the end of the game. So you're going to try and avoid making bad placements for these chickens. And you also want to always try and make as many of those chickens together as you possibly can, unless the victory or objective card says otherwise. Then, of course, you're going to tally your points after all of the grids have been made. And the way that works is you'll take out a scoring sheet. And this scoring sheet will have you write down your name, then you're going to tally up your highest amount of chickens you have. So if I have five black, three red, and two green, the one I'm going to use is the largest one. So if it was five red, I would use the five red. And I would count all their eggs, and I would write down the number of eggs down below under my initial. Then I would be followed up with my rooster. I could place my rooster token on any of my sets, 
but I do not want to place it on my largest set because you're not going to be able to tally points for this, a singular set more than once. So I place my rooster down on one of the sets and then based on the amount of eggs in that set has, I will write down that number, scoring points for that next set. Next, I will score points for medals. Basically, for every three medals you have on all your chickens, you're gonna get two points. And it doesn't matter what set your chickens um, have it on, it's just basically a cumulative amount of medals equals three divided by a three medals equaling two points. For each face down hen you have, you're going to lose points based on the adjacent hens that are face up next to it. Then you're going to score points for the top portion of your objective card, and then of course the bottom portion of your objective card, which most likely you can score or lose points depending on the card. And then finally you're going to tally up all of the points. And whoever has the most points at the end of the game of hens is the winner. All right, so well, as you know, I'm probably a little biased when it comes to hens because I've owned chickens for mm, about seven years now. I really personally enjoy the chicken theme. I enjoy the hen theme and of course the hen houses and all that. And all the chicken art is excellent as well. Uh, but yes, I'm a big fan of this type of game. Uh, but is the game any good? Yeah, I really, really enjoyed this one. Me and my wife played this, and it's it's really clean, it's really fluid, and it feels good. You're just drawing the cards, placing them down, and passing. And it goes by real quickly, even though there's quite a bit of strategy in the game. How you place your chickens, when you place your chickens, uh, and of course, based on the objective card, if you want to utilize these to score additional points, you're gonna be playing not only based on what's best uh, in regards to the chickens, because each chicken set is gonna either have more chickens, like maybe the red one is more easier to get than the black chickens are you know, more difficult because there's less of them. But maybe the cards will reference to want you to go for those because you're going to need to complete a certain number of chickens in a certain way in order to score those points. And so you'll have to make choices throughout the game. Gathering cards from not only the deck but also other players' discard piles is very useful. And I also like the fact that if I do not or I'm not able to get a chicken from a discard pile on the first turn, um, or maybe in the third turn or fourth, I have that opportunity where I can get it on the fourth or the fifth turn. So there's two turns before I'm not able to draw the card I want from a discard pile, especially when playing two players. With multiple players comes multiple discard uh, piles and more choices, but still the game is going to be neck and neck. Most likely you're gonna be able to build your grid unless you're trying to shoot for the moon and you're willing to take extreme risks. When you take extreme risks or chances, there's more of a potential for you to not be able to gather the hens that you want specifically because some of them are going to be harder to get. There might not be any left in the deck. Somebody might have one in their hand. And uh, of course, with more players comes more chicken types, but still it remains that there are certain chickens that are just straight up better than others. But if you're not able to get them or if you have them in your hand, but you cannot play them, you will not score the points for them. This game has a deep amount of strategy, but it's a really, really simple game as far as how it is played. And I really enjoy that. This is a game that's gonna stay in my collection personally because I love the theme, I love the artwork, and I like how quick and easy it is to play. The fact that there is multiple uh, ways to play as you are playing the game just based off of the cards alone, but including these objective cards to change the style of play each and every game presents its own unique strategy. And of course, it's not too mean, it's not too nice, it's kind of fits right in the middle uh, uh, this game here is best played with probably four players, but that doesn't mean I did not enjoy it at two and at three players. If you want a game that's all about collecting sets, placing it down into a tableau, and attempting to utilize your opponent's cards that they don't want and avoid them from using the cards that you don't want, then this is a game I highly suggest for you to take a look at. If you are a chicken or a hen lover, then this is the game for you. I'm a big fan, so yes, I will be keeping hens, and maybe you should look into it as well. Thank you guys for watching another unfiltered gamer board game review for the game Hens by Little Rocket Games. If you're interested in this game, there's a link down below in the description where you can go ahead and pick it up. We'll also be streaming it live every Sunday. We do our stream at 6.30 p.m. PST, and this Sunday we're gonna play Hens for You. So you can go ahead and take a look at it if you're interested. Maybe I'll even bring out my hen so that you can go ahead and say hello to Big Red. <laughs> She's a big gal. You can also go ahead and check out our website on filteredgamer.com, blog posts, giveaways, Kickstarter lists, and more. And if you'd like, you can also go ahead and join us on Patreon. One dollar a month goes a long way. It helps us to be able to do our streaming and pay for uh, our Steam Labs and etc. etc. And uh, yeah, we also do our giveaways and whatnot as well. Moonshell is currently being shipped out 
and in the next weeks, in two weeks or so, we should be finished with the last production portions of the Deluxe, and those should be going out as well. They'll be in the mail. You guys should all have your stuff either by Christmas, or if you're the Deluxe people, it'll probably be in January at some time. Anyway, guys, thank you so much. And as always, I look forward to gathering chickens with you next time. You are so big, look how big she is. She's a huge little chicken. A huge little chicken. You wanna go here on the table? Yeah, that's my big mama. Okay, I'm gonna put her up now. We'll finish the review. Say goodbye. <laughs> you don't like holding it like, when she was little, I can get away with doing that, but now she's too big. Too big now. Come here. Come on up. There you go. Bye bye.